Alrighty, so church is over, and I'm now driving on 417. I'm going to make a few stops. I got some errands to run, and um, I might stop at a restaurant to get some lunch. I'm still debating with myself about that because, you know, I'm trying to save my money. You know, I'm a cheapskate. That's what I do. It's kind of not necessarily my fault. I was raised by a cheapskate. And we live in a world that pretty much gives you reason to be a cheapskate. This is pretty much me testing, you know, filming, you know, while I'm driving. You know, I got one hand on the steering wheel, and obviously the phone is in my other hand. And I, I'm a very safe driver, so, you know, I'm usually really smart when I'm on the road. That's not to say that I'm never smart when I'm on the road, but it's just, you know... I've driven enough times to know what to do and what not to do on the road. So, and you know when you're driving, you're multitasking. So, oh, I forgot to turn off the radio. So this is uh, the 417, which is in Florida. I'm going southbound on... Uh, 417. You know, let me uh, put this on mute right now. Oh, man. Don't you just love it when you got those creeps that just jump right out in front of you when you're driving? That was a rhetorical question. You know, as I'm doing this, I'm reminded about all the times, you know, when I was a little boy and I was growing up in Michigan, in the Detroit area, I grew up in Hazel Park, you know, I remember all the rides that my family and I would take on the freeway occasionally, you know, if we were going places like my dad's mechanic shop, or Toys R Us, or Kmart, or just going to some random location in Michigan, you know, whatever, you know, if there's anything that I regret so far about my childhood, it's that I was never interested in recording videos, you know, when I was growing up. You know, I didn't have an interest in filming until, like, maybe 2011. Or maybe even 2010, for that matter. But anyway, um, I regret not being interested in video recording when I was growing up in Michigan because, you know, I could have recorded so many of my adventures, you know, when I was growing up in Michigan. I could have recorded so much, and especially freeway freeway rides that I took with my family in Michigan, which were some of my favorite parts of my childhood growing up. You know, I would have loved to have, sh I would love to have shared that with you guys. You know, that's one of the reasons why, that's one of the reasons why I record my videos and post them on YouTube. It's because I want to share with you my life experience. You know, I want you guys to see the world through my eyes. You know, I want you guys to see where I where I have been in my life so far. Like right now. Look at where I am right now. I'm driving on the 417. And I know some of you are watching this and you're probably wondering, Vance, you need to put the phone down. You gotta be careful with your driving, you know. I have my attention on the road, you know. I only like give little glances at the phone, but you know, I'm more focused on the road right now. I'm always focused when I'm driving because look at this. You got all these people who are coming on the road. And you know, you never know what these people are going to do when you're on the road. You never know. You know, every now and then you get people that cut you off. You got all these people who are being stupid on the road because, you know, they're trying to get to their destinations wherever they may be. You know, you got some people who, you know, they want to go to Disney World. They want to go to Universal Studios. They want to go to Sea World. They want to go to the beach, they want to go to the Kennedy Space Center, NASA, they want to go to these places, and, you know, I understand wanting to beat the clock because you got to get to a certain destination, I get that, please don't get me wrong, I get that, but, you know, these people, you know, there's a reason why we have rules of the road, there's a reason why we have laws when it comes to what you're supposed to do when you're driving. You know, there's a reason why we have speed limit signs, you know, like certain locations where a speed limit sign will say 45 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour. But the way how the people drive, you know, they're not driving at that speed, you know. I mean, right now on the 417, it's 70 miles an hour. 
and I'm just about at 70 miles per hour. Actually, the speedometer says around 71 or 72, but that's not much. That's not much at all. But you got other people, it looks like they're going like maybe 15 to 20 miles, maybe even more over the speed limit. I mean, honestly, these people just don't care. All these people care about is just getting to their destination as fast as they possibly can, trying to beat the rush hour traffic. Yeah. People are just... I was trying to whistle there, but my lips are a bit dry right now. So, as I was saying earlier, you know, I may have lived a sheltered life growing up. You know, I never tried out for sports. I never stayed after school for extracurricular activities. Never was involved in any kind of extracurricular activities until I moved to Winter Springs in Florida and became a member of the Winter Springs Police Explorer Program. You know, junior police. So... But, you know, there were times I did leave the house, you know, normally with my family, because I didn't get my driver's license until I was much older, and I'm talking in my late 20s. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, strike that. I got my learner's permit when I was 18 years old, and I got my uh, driver's license when I was, holy freaking cow, how, how old was I again? I would say about maybe 23 years old. So I'm pretty much a late bloomer when it comes to being a driver on the road. But I've spent enough time on the road with my family, and especially my father, who's a cowboy when it comes to driving. You know, such a darn cowboy. Unconsciously, I have watched and I have observed my family driving all the years that I was living in Michigan, you know, I spent a lot of time in the passenger seat with my mother and my father and my sister and my grandmother and at least once or twice my ex-brother-in-law. I pretty much watched how everyone drove and I guess all the years that I lived, you know, up until the time I got my learner's permit at age 18 and my driver's license at age 23, I was pretty much ready to go. I mean... I have officially been driving by myself, you know, without a loudmouth drill sergeant in the passenger seat, you know, yelling at me, you know, saying things like, it's 25 miles per hour here. You gotta think, son. You gotta think. You know, so many times I've been tempted to shout at him and say, shut up! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I started driving in the summer of 2017, you know, because up until late 2017, I didn't own my own vehicle. All I'm just going to say is that's how much of a cheapskate my father was, and still is. Don't get me wrong. So I've been recording this video for about 8 minutes and 33 seconds, and I think I've been doing pretty good, you know. So, so I'm just, I'm just going to end the video right here, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, yo.